This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Ryan Smith. And I'm Rita Ninen with the top stories on this Tuesday, July 22nd. Pro-Russian rebels have finally handed over the black box from that doomed jumbo jet to Malaysian investigators. And international forensics experts have finally gained access to the crash site to begin their difficult task. It was made even more difficult after days of looters repeatedly pillaging victims' possessions. And rebels have also released a train carrying the bodies of some of the victims. More airstrikes in Gaza are pushing the Palestinian death toll towards the 600 mark. That includes four people killed when a hospital was shelled. And Secretary of State John Kerry is in Cairo working on a ceasefire, which both sides say they want, but neither side is apparently ready to make any compromise. That monster wildfire in the Pacific Northwest is now the largest ever in the history of Washington State. A quarter of a million acres have gone up into flames. One person has died, and at least 150 homes have been destroyed. The fire is only 2% contained. And one of the world's leading high-tech companies is reportedly bidding to give us a flashbacks, sorts, sort of. Google may be in the running to give New York City thousands of new free Wi-Fi hotspots by converting old phone booths into communication points. They would provide internet service and cell phone charging. Google hasn't confirmed the bid, but the company has been a supporter of free internet for everyone, everywhere. We'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Ryan Smith. And I'm Rena Ninen. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.